Right, hi. Um, I don't know if you read my blog yesterday, but on my blog yesterday I said that I'd been fiddling with something that wasn't working for me. And this is it. But it just goes to show that if you leave something long enough, well, 12 hours or whatever, and you come back to it, I'm happy with it now. I love it now. And I'm going to... It's very small. This is quite small, actually, to measure. But it's about 7 inches by about 10 inches. And I'm not 100% sure what my plans are for it. But it will probably find its way into something bigger as a section of something else. So it's basically just layered fabrics, a um, bit of lace. I've made some tiny, tiny fastenings there. I'm not going to go into those though. Um, and this is a strip of a, a fastening off an old, uh, I think it was an old christening gown. Uh, no, actually, no, it was an apron. It was an old apron and this is the tie that went round the waist um, and I've cut the end off and left this bit coming over here because what will happen is when I back this I'll leave it like that so that that's free, it won't be stitched in. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of make it like a, a sample of bindings maybe or strips of things, there's like a tiny bit of fluff there. I'll get my tweezers later and get that out on that seam. So I've got this. Now this, I know that some people who've done my classes have got some of this. I got given some and I'd already bought some as well. And you buy it like this and the thing about this is the edges are always giving off threads. But I think it's worth persevering with it and pulling them off. Um, because it's lovely if you turn them over, which is what I've done, you get a really nice little binding here, like this. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm just going to pin it to here, ready to be stitched down. And how I'm going to stitch it down, I haven't decided yet. I just think it'll be nice if this turns into be a strip thing, strips of interesting things going across it. So if I pin it down, I have to make sure obviously that it's straight so that's what this is for because it's easier said than done sometimes and even putting a pin in something can move it from where you originally put it that pin's coming out um, but I'll do it by eye first and then check it with that little sewing gauge afterwards and then obviously this will have to be embroidered at some point. Um, I press these over the iron. Oh, and don't stick the pin in yourself. It's not advisable. See, I think that one there needs folding in a bit more. Talk about fiddly, Karen. Go and have set yourself challenges. I don't think I'm going to bleed there where I uh, stabbed myself, thankfully. So, right, so now. It looks straight to me, um, but I'll just confirm that with this. I'll do it from there, so let's go over that one. And that's a bit further away. That might be because that goes up a bit, though. I'm not going to worry about that because it, it's apart from there, and I think that's because that's got a bit of a kink in it that other bit there so that's all right for me i don't mind that because it doesn't look completely cockeyed or skew whiff does it so i'll just base this down now and get those pins out and then i can put it to one side um and do a bit more stitching embroidery on it tonight fiddle central I mean, Fiddle Central is a good thing if you've got nice, delicate, feminine, long tapering, lovely fingers. It's a bit more of a challenge when you've got 
big huge sausage fingers like I've got. But hands like a man. Although some men can saw, can't they, and do great things in a creative sense, so it's maybe not all doom and gloom. I'm just this is just such haphazard base and tacking. This is gonna be coming out obviously when the stitching's done. And hopefully when I've done this tacking it'll still be straight. Yeah, it's looking that way. Quite big stitches. And I'm having to come through the holes in this trim because the <coughs> the area around the holes is so densely stitched. Quite hard to get your needle into there. So we went there now. So that is now ready, that's a good exercise for me because it's ready now. I can spend tonight stitching on this and titivating this little band which and then probably spend the rest of the afternoon searching for similar things in my boxes and everywhere in the house. bag on this table and the threads and things so there so once it's embroidered white on white is notoriously difficult um, I can pull in close if you want to see these but it might blur let's hope it doesn't uh, is it focusing itself I think it is so these took me a whole evening um, to make but worth it because I like them and I'm probably going to make more um, and then that's the band I've just put on now okay